The new head coach of South Korea's national football team is brimming with confidence. Before reporters, Paolo Bento vowed to take the Taegak Warriors to the next level. And our Won Jung Hwan has more from his first press conference in Korea. Portuguese tactician Paolo Bento had his first press conference on Thursday as the new head coach of the South Korean national football team. In front of the press, he explained in detail his vision for the national team. I will try to achieve an ambitious goal with South Korea, which is to win the Asian Cup and qualify for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's going to be a long project, but I'll also use this opportunity to take South Korean football to the next level. He also said he is determined to develop South Korean football and bring through the next generation of young players. We have so many talented young players, so we should give them the opportunity. And it's my opportunity to check the players. Bento and his staff watched the K-League match between FC Seoul and Poang Steelers on Wednesday. And when asked about his impression of South Korean football in general, he mentioned the country's success in 2002. I think the 2002 World Cup was an opportunity for Korean football to develop further. It was a historic moment for the country, and since then, the football standard has increased a lot. Interestingly, his last match in a Portugal jersey came against South Korea at the 2002 FIFA World Cup. Portugal lost that match 1-0 and failed to advance to the knockout stage. Bento, however, has now been given the opportunity to create some better memories with South Korea. His task will be helping the Taegut Warriors get past the group stage at the next World Cup, something the team hasn't managed since 2010. The new head coach's plan, which he has laid out in front of the press, will be first tested when the national team hosts Costa Rica and Chile in a series of friendly matches next month. Won Jong-hwan, Arirang News.